Where is the First Order TIE Bomber? Its absence is keenly felt in things like Battlefront, and its presence is teased in this poster and in a hologram in The Last Jedi, which does indeed have at least a few details different from the original TIE Bomber. But we have nothing definitive, so I took it on myself to fill this gap in the First Order fleet. And this is what I came up with. The First Order TIE Bomber retains the angled wings and twin hull design of the Imperial TIE Bomber. But as with all things, the First Order has finally fully realized ideas and concepts that the Empire started. The negative space of the TIE Bomber has been filled in, making the fighter sturdier and more robust, and allowing this craft to carry a heavier payload and more weapon systems than ever before. The standard TIE chin guns are supported by wingtip blasters, and the space between the major hull all sections is occupied by heavy cannons. A swiveling turret, akin to those found on the Special Forces TIE Fighter, protects the otherwise exposed rear of the craft. Here we can see that the propulsion systems of a First Order TIE Bomber are a little less elegant and more bulky than before, providing ample thrust to balance out the bomber's heavier payload and armor plating. Secondary thrusters improve maneuverability and add redundancy, ensuring that this bomber can endure more punishment than its predecessor. Alright, that's all in-universe details of course. Now more about the thought process behind the design. I've always felt the lack of a TIE Bomber in the First Order fleet, but I'm actually kind of glad that they haven't officially designed one yet, because I have a feeling that it would look pretty much exactly like this. So I like the freedom that was afforded to me for this design. A huge inspiration came from the wings of the TIE Silencer. I really like the idea of filling in the gaps of the wings and using them on something like a TIE Advanced or a TIE Bomber, but considering that the Silencer kind of already fills the role of a TIE Advanced, I went straight for a bomber. Now instead of fully filling in the wing space, I actually only filled in the tips because I irrationally wanted some kind of comparison to the engine design of a Y-Wing, and the result was arguably pretty neat, so I kept it in. And it opened up the chunky design a lot, letting the ship visually appear faster and lighter than it really was. From there, I took inspiration from the heavier, bulked out fuselage of the Silencer and the Advanced, and applied those ideas to the bomber's design. This filled in a lot of the space and gave the ship this beefy look that I really liked. This looked far more dangerous to me, like you could not stop this thing if it was coming at you at full speed. Of course, another thing that I wanted to accomplish was to give it more weapons than before. Not just for a more guns is better philosophy, but because in reality, if you look at the original shooting miniature, the TIE Bomber doesn't even have guns. I know it does in video games, but they're not there on the model for sure. But I also thought it'd be a good addition to such a beefy version of the bomber if I added some bigger guns that would let it go toe to toe with larger targets. So this TIE bomber would be something akin to the B-25, which was literally outfitted with the same sort of gun that Sherman tanks were carrying. The standard TIE style chin guns are more akin to machine guns meant for anti-fighter combat, and the larger artillery grade cannons are designed for use against armor and ships. I also I also played with the idea of mounting a turret on the second hull, something that looked kind of like the turret on a Y-Wing, but it looked all wrong and I looked instead to the turret of the Special Forces TIE Fighter, which has a very low profile and compact turret, and it fits in perfectly underneath and between the hulls. Something like the TIE Bomber, which is larger and slower moving than a TIE Fighter, really needs a turret. But that pretty much sums it up. Will we eventually see an official First Order TIE Bomber? Maybe, but until then, hopefully you like the design. Feel free to send any input my way. Let me know what I could have done differently or what you would have done instead. To those of you who support me on Patreon, this model is actually available to view and to download on my Sketchfab account. So if that interests you, make sure to check it out there. I'll have a private link on my Patreon page. And to everybody else out there, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.